they were looking for from me was a unique way of discovering Penfolds as a family. They produced a number of bin numbers and they are a consequence of blends between various great varieties. They came to me with a brief to create a way of linking those wines together graphically. And we ended up with this idea of vines. And I think there's so much, so much mystery around wine. And that's one of the reasons why I took it on, because I think I like to do things where I'm, where I'm learning. Trying to create an individual identity for 11 different bin numbers, I thought, oh God, you know, that, they are just signatures on their own. Bins are where those uh, bottles of wine were put into a, a little alcove in one of the wineries. Those alcoves were named as bins. We've looked to get some tendril shapes that are representative of blocks that have produced certain wines. The whole idea behind uh, trellis catch wires and things like that is based around tendrils getting on there and holding on and keeping canopies upright. And, and it really does tell a story for us of how great wines evolved. The 2010 vintage was very special, it was nearly perfect in terms of we had really good winter rainfall, but then we had quite a, quite a good dry growing season. The idea of making them in glass and filling them with the various bin numbers, and making them unique shapes filled with unique wines, was the, the twist, I think, which made this really rewarding. We tried to capture the vines to show the, the quality of the way that they're made. I mean, it's really sophisticated. The craftsmanship that's gone into the vines is, is beautiful. It's incredibly important. But I love the way, as a mark, you could have those vines as a, as a silhouette and they'd still work as an idea.